Do you want to watch this vlog? Wait, wait, I thought you really watch vlogs. Yes, I like a vlog, please. You're a blog. So, uh, we're going to be doing some crewing at Hundred Acre Wood for Rally Ready this weekend, so stick around. So uh, Derek had asked me if I can uh, come down and help them crew. I think I'm working on Bucky's car this weekend. I got to double check that. But uh, yeah, we just got here. Um, the house we're staying at is ridiculous. Um, here. Yeah, we got this sweet little fire pit. There's fire. And that's not even the craziest part, is it, Josh? No, it's not. What, what would you say the craziest part of all this is? The lake. Did you, did you see the lake, though? The lake! There's even gooses out there. Yeah, so we have to private lake. <laughs> like, There's Canadian what? gooses out there. In little old Missouri. Canadian gooses and a ripped doggy bag, which is very convenient. That's funny. Yeah, we pulled up and Josh was like, are we in the right spot? I'm like, yeah, dude, like 10 times. No joke, 10 times kept asking. But I mean, can you blame him? I didn't want to get shot. <laughs> That's it. I was unsure. Yeah, so uh, calm before the storm, we're the first ones in today. I'm just gonna sit and kind of relax and drink my cherry limeade. That guy, that guy, I forget about the name. Taylor? Yeah. On the left, Taylor? Yeah. I just don't know that guy's name. Who's the guy on the right? Dark blue, but whatever. I think shoot the colors. I have all the guts. prepping Bucky's car for tech. Uh, we had to wire up the rally safe, swap over some wheels to gravel wheels, and I noticed that the uh, seat belts didn't have the cotter pins in them, so put them in real quick. Um, any future rally people, get four-door cars. Like, it is so much easier to get in the back seat. That was such a pain in the butt. But yeah, we're gonna go here to tech in a little bit, and uh, hopefully everything goes good. Yeah, so we just gotta sit here and wait for like an hour now at this point, it seems like. Yeah, yeah we did all the pre-race stuff before we left, so we shouldn't really have any problems. But, um, yeah, we'll let you know how it goes. I don't know if you can see it, but Dusty's in there with Dave's car right now. Um, He's got to install a boost monitor so that ARA can monitor his boost amount to make sure that he isn't cheating. It's just, Dave's pretty fast and uh, some people don't believe he's as fast as he is, I think. But either way, so he's got to install that real quick. Yeah, so the car made it through tech. Um, some minor issues, uh, most of them are taken care of already. Uh, had to help wire up a reverse light on the black rifle car. Uh, she just went to get logbook, that went good. Uh, yeah, I mean, should be feeling pretty good. Hopefully everything stays together. It is what it is at this point. That's what's laid in now. Nice. Um, so, with there. So it's currently four in the morning. Uh, we can't get the cars off the trailer. Yeah, so we can't get the uh, the trailer open. So we're trying to figure that out because we still have some work to do on the cars. But yeah, how you feeling, Robert? C. You feeling C? Morale is low. <laughs> How's it going, Derek? It's going good. We consider not sleeping at all and uh, grooving tires at 4 a.m. good. 
4 a.m. It's 5 a.m. Is my it dad. 5 a.m.? I don't know. <laughs> I'm in like daylight whatever times though. <laughs> uh, but luckily uh, we have really good friends and people to work with, so it's definitely not as bad as it could be. It's still pretty bad. Well, after six-ish hours of messing around in the stacker, um, we got the lift gate fixed. So we're back in business. We uh, were unloading some cars. We were to the top, we were to the service. We were taking the service. And then, uh, yeah, the race stays on. So let's, uh, let's get ready to go. Do you need to call Dusty, though, and go over everything? Gonna set up service here real quick. Nope. Oh, genius mode. Looking right for service. Huh? Right for service. Absolutely. <laughs> I've been ready. Okay. I've been servicing up everybody. Bro, <laughs> it's raining like a motherfucker. Big rain, time. Yeah, so we just got done doing Bucky's car. Um, skid plate was ripped off basically. We had to drill some holes and reattach it. Shifter bushing's a little loose. Um, it needs a new one. I just tightened him down. It seems better. Uh, we'll know when he gets out there. Uh, he's got a little bit of a lack of power, he's saying too. So we're going to send the logs off to the tuner and see how that goes. But um, other than that, pretty eventful for this side. We're working on Mike Lover's car here. We had to, I had to bleed the brakes over here. Um, other than that, I think Dusty just wired in the fog lights. So far, pretty uneventful service, which is how I like it. Yeah, so day two is just underway. Uh, guys are coming back from the first loop. I had to put a left rear axle in Bucky's car this morning and do a couple little things. I just got news that he had a little bit of an off and sounds like the right front axle might be bad. I've got all the tools and everything out, so we're gonna bust this out real quick and hopefully get him back out there. <laughs> right? Yeah, so we got Bucky's axle all done. Uh, it did have a little bit of play on the inside. Took it for a little quick spin. Everything looks good. Um, yeah, I don't really have any other complaints, so we're pretty, doing pretty good there. Uh, Dave's not really having any problems with his car, as far as I know. Yeah, have you heard anything? Dude, I had to, re I had to reattach his license plate. That is major work. <laughs> God, I'm a key part of this team. I don't know what you do without me. We did swap tires, I guess. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Maybe a lot of different tires. That's fine. But yeah, uh, we'll see you guys next service. How's your day going, Robert? My lips are checked as fuck. <laughs> we got chicken wings. We got chicken wings? Uh, yeah, so we just got done with the second service of the day. Um, had another axle that was bad on Bucky's car, so we've done three of the four now. Um, yeah, it's been an interesting day. But uh, we did some minor suspension adjustments. He's only eight seconds behind the guy in front of him who's uh, in fourth so yeah for third place and hopefully you can catch him he's been progressively taking a couple seconds out of him each stage um, they did shorten it because there was a crash so instead of three more stages tonight it's two but um, I have faith I think he can pull it out uh, other than that um, yeah <laughs> yeah Dave Yeah, so we're on our way back. 
back home. Uh, Bucky ended up not being able to get third place. Uh, there was, like I said, the stage cancellations. And then there was a couple rollovers, so everybody got bogey time. And he had a little bit of a defos, or he had a defog issue on one of the water crossings. So he couldn't really see which hamper to speed. But, you know, fourth place at this rally is pretty impressive. Um, I know me and Derek, we, it took us five times to even finish both days. So, I, in my opinion, even finishing 100 Acre Wood is a miracle in itself. But, um, yeah, Josh, did you have fun? Hell yeah! What'd you do all weekend? Uh, I took some pictures. I dreamt of sleep when I was awake because I was very sleepy. But not as sleepy as them boys from Rally Ready. But, I mean, you know. I had a lot of fun, took a lot of pictures, uh, got to see some new sights, got to watch out for crazy drivers driving a fucking neon green shit. Whoops. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, so I think the plan is to see what events Bucky's all going to, and maybe I'll do those. Not 100% certain yet. But yeah, that's where I'm going to leave this video off, so you guys have a good day.